I don't know about you two, but I am super pumped for Sonic! I'd first like to thank my nine-year-old son, Connor, for providing me with the proper garments to start this introduction. He might come on later to give you his two cents on this film, as he is a very large Sonic fan. Connor, what'd you think of the new Sonic trailer? It was good. I myself thought the first trailer for Sonic 2 looked fine at best. This final trailer though, <laughs> they got it right. I'm in, I'm all in. The trailer opens with Tom attending a wedding for his sister-in-law when he gets an urgent phone call from Sonic. Sonic crashes the wedding through a giant ring portal with his best friend Tails, as one does. And this unlocks not only a terrible snow pun, but my heart. As I, as I really appreciate a bad pun in a film. Sonic informs his human friend, and in turn us the audience, that Dr. Robotnik is back. And he's brought the- what? Yeah, I was, I was just gonna tell him. And he has brought with a new kind of terror. An echidna. Ho oh, ho Knuckles is in here. Robotnik's right hand man does a little jab about him being a weird alien, at which point Knuckles grabs his hand and drops him to the ground. I will say the CG looks a little incomplete here. His hand kind of looks like it's floating in front of the arm. It doesn't feel like he's really holding onto that guy's arm. And I know he's not, he, he's CG, but still, you can do a little bit better, I think. And perhaps they're not finished yet. As a side note, I think it would have been freaking hilarious if the original trailer for Sonic 2 had Knuckles look as bad as Sonic did in the original Sonic 1 trailer. Just a complete abomination, like fear-inducing stuff that keeps you up at night. That's what they should have done and then quickly changed it. It's just like, a, you know, he'd be like uh, Uganda Knuckles, that meme that's going around. And that reminds me, there was a Sanic reference in the first film. It would be great if that old dude was back in the sequel with another conspiracy shirt showing Uganda knuckles. That would be a nice touch. Wouldn't it, buddy? <laughs> we're having fun here. It does look like we're back at the town for a little while. Robotnik shows up going all Magneto on the place. He's lifting trains, he's lifting cars. And he seems to have harnessed one of the emeralds from the video games or it's the Master Emerald. I, you know, I don't really remember it that well. I know that you could collect six or seven different colors, and when their powers combined, they formed Captain Sonic or whatever, Super Sonic. That, that's kind of what's happening here, maybe, possibly. I shouldn't speak to this. One thing I'm like 99.9% .9 confident about is there was no owl backstory. Uh, in the games, like there was in the first movie. I don't remember Sonic hanging out with a, a giant owl. We went all in on Owl in Sonic 2. There's a statue, there's some sort of a lore associated with this creature. And it looks like Sonic and Tails are going to try to crack this mystery wide open. It looks like the snowboard sequence is going to be one of the big action set pieces from the film. We can see Dr. Robotnik flying in, saying hello, and... Yeah, yes, yeah, uh, Knuckles is on the side of his ship like a bro, hanging there, ready to do some damage. It is cool, it's very cool. I'm a sucker for a good action set piece. There looks to be a plethora of them here. Not only do we have a sweet looking snowboarding sequence featuring a nice little Winter Soldier reference, but there's a montage of different sequences at play. We have a night fight. We got a chase sequence in the forest. We even have that giant Eggman machine from Sonic 2 that's giving me PTSD just looking at it. Listen, the hitbox in that boss fight in Sonic 2 is ridiculous. Not only are you expected to have a grueling match against Metal Sonic, but then going into that boss fight with probably zero rings like I usually do, and having those dumb metal hands poke out and hit me every time I'm trying to pop him in the chest, it's ridiculous! Sadly, the first Sonic movie is one of the best video game films to date. I say sadly because it is a fine movie, it's a good family film, it's not like the greatest thing ever, and for how many video game movies they've tried to make, it's just sad that this is the best we have. That said, Sonic 2, this trailer, I mean, I think they're doing everything right. This looks fantastic. This looks, this was a way better trailer than the last one I watched, which kind of gave me eh feelings. Here though, I can see they're very dedicated to the game. They're going all in on some of the references. They're having fun with these characters and with this property. And of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Jim Carrey is back again as Dr. Robotnik. This has a very good potential of being the greatest video game movie of all time. Hey, and of course it's the one Knuckles is in. Like he needs a bigger ego. Ha 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 ha! Oh. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I put out a lot of movie reactions, reviews, rants, things of that nature on a weekly basis. If you like a little humor fused in, even if it is cringy intentionally, well then stick around. I do that a lot as well. 
And, uh, you know, you can hit a notification bell, get these to show up in your feed. Comment on the video, let me know what you think about this new film, how it's shaping up for you. And hopefully you decide to join me and my pals and stick around. Where are they? Oh my god, how? Oh, what's that, Knuckles? These guys should also join me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Adam Olinger and watch me play games really pathetically. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, what, Sonic? They should also join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies where they can become a member, support the channel for one or two dollars a month, or become a join member right here on YouTube. These are all wonderful ideas that came from two iconic childhood classic characters. Don't take my word for it. Take theirs.